hello viewers this is hold of you once again welcome to this new video where i'm going to show you how to collect accurate information from linkedin profiles which include collecting their full name their current job title current company name uh, company linkedin profile page company's website information email address direct phone number when possible actually the email address of this contact person and we are also going to collect their company phone number and company address so these fields are to be collected when possible all right so if you just notice this spreadsheet is containing 220 leads and my client has delegated this task to someone else from upwork but unfortunately that guy did this actually ridiculously wrong so when my client client started sending emails to these guys they were receiving negative replies from them and she was surprised to see that as well so she just sent me to review this list and what i what i found was really really bad so if you just notice this the last two information or the, the for the last two leads they collected accurate information but as you can see these white backgrounds this was just updated by me i have updated all of this information this one was accurate as well so if you just notice almost all of these almost 90 99 percent or 98 percent of these leads were inaccurately collected by that other guy so i'm just updating this one and i have decided to make this video to show you the right way to collect information for any person from linkedin and i'm going to talk a little bit more about honesty in freelancing as well in this video so to learn get these speeches from me please continue watching this video till the end so first of all let's just open this linkedin profile link which the client has provided to that person so i'm going to open and we're going to match up all of this information so gary and douglas is the name so gary douglas that's fine no problem with the name but he just ignored the middle name that's fine as well no problem so let's uh, see the title and company name here title chief financial officer that's great matching but when you are time coming here on this company name harvest christian uh, fellowship is the company name that what he includes but just notice here we are not seeing any here the goodwill southern california creative future first entertainment credit union three elite technica and other informations these are actually these are actually the previous companies but if you just notice the current or current companies then you you will see creative future and godwill southern southern california but so this company entry was completely wrong so i am going to delete this one and update this one with our uh, current company name so here godwill southern california or if we don't find uh, email address for this company we are going to use this one okay so let's paste this one godwill southern california and then we are going to collect their linkedin profile and to do this we just have to open this link in a new tab or new linkedin uh, linkedin uh, company page okay so copy and paste it here i mean to keep the white background to show my client that what was the correct entries or where i made the uh, change okay so that she will be able to send this to that guy okay so now let's collect their company website so here's the website copy and paste it here and it's time to as this is this domain is different than this email containing domain so this is actually a wrong email address i believe so i'm going to remove these parts as well and going to update update this information here los angeles is the headquarter location so this could be the headquarter location we are going to verify this information with the website uh, address provided on web website so i'm going to click on contact us and paste this information here oops paste 342 and san francisco road so 342 san francisco road los angeles cs so address is matching so i'm going to i'm, I'm seeing some difference here and san francisco road so let's keep it as it is okay and then going to copy the phone number paste it here 
and it's time to collect their direct business email address and direct phone number when possible so let's copy this person's name from here and then paste it here put extra at the right here and put the domain name copy this domain name from here and put it here paste and then make a google search and here you can see it's already uh, found some of the entries on the official website godwillsocial.org so i'm going to open these links and here's the third party soft third party website we don't want to follow these email addresses whatever it is coming up here okay i'm not seeing oh, okay so here one email address this could be the accurate email address so let's just copy this email to verify it with our uh, linkedin sales navigator extension and email compose box so paste it here gary and douglas gary and douglas chief financial officer let's open this link to see if she is also a chief financial officer okay so chief financial officer this profile is a new profile for the uh, this this person has two profiles i believe and this one is new but this one was the uh, profile that she created uh, someday with this accurate email address okay and if you just notice the company is matching up and the title is also matching up so we are going to take this email as a uh, valid email address okay and now let's just copy this email address again and make a simple google search to see if we are seeing uh, getting some phone numbers as well and can i find any information from here no okay so here i'm i'm seeing some matching information coming up so just open these links this is a pdf file this one okay and let's just put control f on your keyboard and then control v to see if any matching up appeared so here it is matching so zoom in a little bit and let's see if we can find the phone number from here we have found the zip code los angeles and their company uh, address no phone number okay no problem actually we are seeing full matching so let's see no so no phone number that's fine let's see if we can find a phone number here on this page and i'm seeing this one here copy and let's paste it if we can find it different than the company then we are going to take it here so this is not actually different it is the same phone numbers the company phone number so uh, so we are not be going to be able to find this person's direct phone number okay so now uh, let me collect the information or try to collect the information for this person as well and see if the other guy collected accurate information or if we find anything wrong here as well and we are going to talk about the honesty so whenever you are working for a client it could be an international client you have found from any freelance marketplace or it could be a local client okay so the name is matching always try to do the best work that you could do okay so it will help you to get multiple projects or repetitive projects from that person so chief financial officer chief financial officer and the company name is mismatching volunteers of america los angeles so this one is also a wrong entry so i'm going to update this one company name and paste it here and then linkedin profile and website we'll be able to find them from here so your your honesty is your reputation on online community so whenever so for example i don't think or i can believe that this client my client is going to sorry let's put the uh, white background my client is going to give a good feedback to this person who has collected this information all right after seeing this much and uh, when when they have received lots of negative or bad replies from people's 
by sending them their uh, campaign okay so this is going to win your online career all right so basically or ultimately when you are a new person you should be very careful about doing these stuff okay so just take the jobs that you know that you'll be able to do perfectly okay or take the jobs that you know at least 80 percent of the task if you need 20 percent improvement then you can you can do that while you actually work on that project so collect this information address information if it's matching yes okay so take the job that you could at least do 80 percent of the job correctly otherwise please don't don't go for applying on any job or or what it will lead you to a very bad situation okay so you're you're getting started or you're trying to get a job to make money online so if you just try to get it too fast so you don't know the work pretty well but you are trying to get the jobs then you're actually making your opportunities wrong or making your career wrong wrong way so this will you so if you here it's matching so if you're getting a job that you actually don't know uh, properly or don't know yet then you're actually uh, damaging your reputation which will uh, which will cause you not not getting any more job from online marketplaces okay so you have to be very careful about this first please take some time to learn the job whatever it is it could be an easy job or it could be a uh, high valued job or less valued job but it's always best to learn the job before you get it or before you work from someone okay so it will help you get repetitive tasks so as i do okay as i get when whenever i work for a client i make sure that i am providing the 100 percent from my ability to get repetitive tasks and this is what actually helped me or helping me to always stay busy okay and make a decent amount of money each month so same thing you have to do so i i don't think i'll be able to find this person's direct phone number so i'm going to leave this and going to do the correction for all of these entries as well all right so the goal of this video was to give you the awareness that if you do wrong works for any client the client will realize it maybe today or if not today then tomorrow or someday okay so uh, ultimately this will lead you to bad situations with your online online career freelancing career so whenever you are doing work for someone do it your best efforts do it honestly you will get repetitive tasks you will get multiple tasks from same client and maybe one client will change your life okay there, there are many people even for me I have made over 20,000 US dollars from one single client and to get these types of client you have to uh, build up your reputation as a best worker all right so I hope this video was helpful to you and if you have found this video informative helpful please like this video share this video to help others as well to learn or to make them aware of or to um, motivate them to do their best okay so that they will also be able to build an online career all right so if you found this video helpful please like this video and share this video and subscribe to my channel if you're if you haven't yet subscribed to get more helpful videos like this one i have to see you in the next video thank you very much for watching